Hey, it's Neil Smith here. Hope you're doing well. The following problem seems a bit overwhelming, but be patient with yourself. It's just adding, subtracting, looking some numbers up in tables, throw in a few nuances, a couple concepts to keep straight. And before you know it, you'll be doing these problems. They're not that bad. You got this. Determination of compass error by azimuth of the sun. Practice problem one. So this is problem one. And the first thing we need to do is all of our givens. So we need to get all the givens. The date here is November 6th. And all these problems are in 1981. Matches up. All the Coast Guard problems are 1981. And then our zone time is 752. So our zone time is equal to 752. And our DR position is here. DR position equals latitude 25 degrees 11.0 minutes north, longitude 76 degrees 0, 07.0 minutes west. And at that time, you observe the sun bearing 119. Sun bearing is equal to 119 degrees PSC. And the chronometer reads, so the cron time is 12 hours, 53 minutes, 12 hours, 53 minutes, and 7 seconds. And the cron error is equal to 1 minute, 19 seconds fast. 1 minute. 19 seconds, and that is fast. And when the cron error is fast, we subtract. And last two, variation. Variation is equal to 3 degrees west, and they're asking, what is the deviation of the standard mag magnetic compass? So they want deviation. It's reasonable. And so the first thing... I like to do is find, use the zone time, divide longitude by 15, and you can get an approximate GMT. So let's find the approximate GMT, and that's the zone time is equal to 752, 0752. The longitude is equal to 76 degrees. West. These minutes over here, there's not enough of them to really make a difference. And we divide that by 15. We can get hours off of Greenwich Mean Time. So 76 divided by 15 equals 5. 5. 5 hours. Is that plus or minus? It's a good question. So here's the prime meridian where Greenwich Mean Time is. And here's our time zones. If you go to the east, you're going to add. If you're going to the west, you are subtracting. So think about if you're in New York to California, it's subtracting. But So our longitude is west. We need to add it to get back. We need to add it back to get to Greenwich Mean Time. So we're going to add this five hours. So if we add five hours here... We're at 12.52. This is our, I call it approximate GMT. And now we have a reference. This is what we're looking for. Let's find our actual GMT with the cron time. So actual GMT, or just GMT, equals the cron time, which is here, 12.5307. Oh, I like to label everything. I don't know. Cron time, 
12 hours, 53 minutes, 7 seconds. And the Quran error is equal to 1 minute, 19 seconds fast. So we subtract. 1 minute, 19 seconds fast. So we subtract. Let's subtract all this. Now, right away, we're going to have to borrow. So 7 minus 19, that's a no-go, right? These 53 minutes, we borrow 1, that turns to a 52, and this essentially turns to 67. So we can go 67 minus 19, 67 minus 19 equals 48. We have 48 seconds. And now we have 52 minus 1 is 51. 51, and now we have just 12 hours left. So 12 hours, 51 minutes, and 48 seconds. You see how that's close? This is kind of rounded up. So as an aside, there's error in this cron time. There's ambiguity. So if this didn't line up, and you're like, wait, why is it so far off? It's because it's like an analog watch. It only, you know, it might be the difference between night and day or into a different day. So if you add 12 hours here, you can find the what it would be on the other side, which would be 0, 5, 1, 48, but it is not this one. So here's our GMT. And so once we have our GMT and we are in the correct date, right? This is November 6th, because not always will you stay in the same day. So GMT 1251, and now with our GMT, we can find the, the Greenwich hour angle of the sun. So we find the GHA, they call it, for 12 hours from here. And then you have to go into another table to find the GHA of the increments, 51 minutes, 48 seconds. 51 minutes, 48 seconds. Let's get these. And then that this is actually going to, when we look up GHA for 12 hours, the declination is going to be right there. So we need to record it. Declination, and it's going to give you the D correction. So let's jump into our nautical almanac here, and we're looking for November 6th, GMT 12 hours. All the days and times are up here, September. So what are we looking for? November. Right, November 6th, October, November, November 6th. And so there's two pages of November 6th, but if you look, it's like Aries, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, stars, sun. This is the column we're, we're interested in, sun. November 6th, sun, GMT. Here's the day again. So if we go down and we're looking for 12, so 6, 12. <clears throat> See right here, it jumped. It's like 349, 4. So this is 4 degrees, 5 minutes. And then over here is the declination. So first let's get 4 degrees, 5 minutes. So this is zero, 4 degrees and 5 minutes. And now let's get that declination while we're there. See the declination? South. 16, 0, 2.3. South, 16. South, 16, 0, 2.3. I'm going to double check that because these are long problems. And if you mess up anywhere, you just messed up everywhere. Okay, cool. We got that. And now we need our D value. This D value you get from the bottom of this page. <clears throat> See the D value? D, 0 0.7. Okay, and how do we know if that's plus or minus, right? There's a bunch of small nuances. So if we go back up here, here's our declination. Is it increasing or decreasing to the next hour? It's increasing. So that's plus. We're adding that D value of 0 0.7. So plus 0 0.7. And now... <clears throat> we can add these up. Oh, 
look at this GHA we got to go into the increments so you go into the very back of this nautical almanac and here's the increments increments and corrections we're looking for 51 minutes 48 seconds so 51 minutes <clears throat> here's the minutes and again we're in the Sun these are the planetary bodies so 51 minutes the Sun and then here's the seconds 48 48 so we are looking at 1257 1257.0 let's record that 1257.0 12 57.0 and then we can get this d correction from this too so increments and corrections now our d here's the, all the d values d correction so ours was 0.7 right so here's what the d value is and here's the correction 0 0.6 cool 0 0.6 so and it's plus plus 0 0.6 so we can get the declination now we can add these 0.92 south 16 2.9 <clears throat> this is our declination good we'll need that in the next step and now let's find add these ghas together to get the total gha of the sun so 0.0 5 plus 7 is 12, 62, and then this is 4 plus 12 is 16, 16 degrees, 62, and now <clears throat> I'm just going to leave it like this, and we need to subtract west longitude, subtract our west longitude from here, so our west longitude or we subtract it because it's west, and our longitude is 76, 7. So 76, 0, 7.0. We subtract these. So 62 minus 7. And that's why I left this as 62. Instead of bringing this one degree over and making this 17, I've done this problem a bunch of times, so I knew I was going to have to borrow back anyway. So I left it at 1662. So now we go 62 minus 7. 62 minus 7. 55. 55 minutes. And, okay, so 16 minus 76. Can't do that, right? When you run into this, you just add 360 to that top small number, and then you can. So you go 16 plus 360 equals minus 76 equals 300. So 300 degrees, 55 minutes is the GHA of the sun. Cool. That's the LHA of the sun. Trying not to confuse it. LHA of the sun is equal to 350, 300 degrees, 55 minutes. Now what we need to do is we need to go, we make this big table. I think it's called like a triple interpolation. And we need declination. We need declination. We need dr lat. And we need L. H A of the sun. So let's get those. We just calculated all those. So declination is here. South 16, 2.9. South 16, 2.9. And the DR lat is here. 25, 25 degrees, 11.0 minutes north. LHA of the sun, we calculated that. 300 degrees, 55, 300 degrees, 55 minutes. And so now what's interesting here is the DR lat, this north, 
is different from the declinations of south. So we could say that the dec and dr let are contrary to each other. This makes a difference. So these are contrary. And now we get our base argument. We're, gonna, we're basically setting up a big table to calculate some corrections. I've seen it done with trigonometry, but this is kind of the um, less math, more tables way. So we need our base argument. We call it a base argument. And our base argument is 16. See this? 16 degrees, 25 degrees, 300. 16, 25, and 300. That's our base argument. And now we need our base angle, or Z, base Z. This Z is the angle. <clears throat> and so now let's find our base Z. And we go into the site reduction tables. And we look this up. Our LHA 300, it's contrary. We use our base argument, actually. 300 LHA, 2516, and we're contrary. So if you look, start looking in here, <clears throat> see LHA. Here's the differences. These are 180 apart, whatever. So LHA and then contrary, we need 300. They're going up. So 290, 300. 300 contrary, 25 degrees lat, and then declinations over here. <clears throat> so we can say 300 contrary, 25, declination is 16. There, and we come down, Z, that's the Z degrees. 118.5. 118.5 is our base. 118. 8.5 and this is goes all the way down and now we do a tabulation we do a tabulated z and this is really interesting so what we do is you have to add one here and keep these two the same and record it add one here keep these two the same and record it add one here keep these two the same and record it so let's start at the top <clears throat> we're going to say add one here so the declination in our tabulation would be 17 25 300 so we're at 300 contrary 25 but now it wants us to do 17 so it's just below so we were up here now we're here 119.4 119.4. And now we go 1626, 30. So, so we're at 300, contrary, and we jump up to 26, Z, and 16. So it's 118.8. 118.8. And now, we change this one up one. So it's 301, 25, 16. So see, we're at 300. <clears throat> we need to go 301. Now we're 301 contrary, 25, 16 for our declination. So 301 contrary, 25, 16, 119.1. 119.1. One, one. Okay, and now we have to figure out the difference between the two. So this is the difference in Z. And so the difference, if, if the tab is higher than the base, it's going to be plus. I like to get my signs going. So this one's higher. This one's higher. They all are higher. So they're all going to be added. And so we can go 119.4 minus 118.5. 119.4 minus 118.5 equals 0 0.9. 
I would do some mental math, try to make sure I'm not messing up. See this one you can this one we can do in our heads. This one's up 0.3. Right? Five, six, seven, eight. And this one is gonna be 0 0.6, but let's do it on the calculator. 119.1 minus 118.5 equals 0 0.6. 0 0.6 so here's the differences <clears throat> and now we get increments and increments are these minutes so the increments are 2.9 11.0 and 55 minutes And now we get different times. Now we need to get the correction. And the correction is it's the difference times the increments divi divided by 60. So let's check that out. So the difference times the increments divided by 60. 0.9 times 2.9 equals divided by 60 equals 0 0.435. I like to take it out to two decimal points. 0 0.04 is positive. And then we go 0 0.3 times 11. 0 0.3 times 11 equals divided by 60 equals 0 0.06, we'll round up here, 0 0.06, and then we'll do this last one, 0 0.6 times 55 five equals, divided by 60 equals 0 0.55, <clears throat> and then we add these up, they're all positive, because these were all positive, so we add these up, 0 0.04 plus 0 0.06 plus 0.55 equals 0 0.65. 0 0.65. This is the total correction is equal to this. So with this total correction, <clears throat> we can come back over here and get our our base z was equal to here, 118.5, 118.5. One, one, Our correction was positive, and it was 0 0.65. We can round this up, this 0 0.65, let's round that up to 0 0.07, because this, it's too many decimal points. So, 7. <clears throat> This is going to give us our z, and it's going to be in quadrantal notation. So this is 5, 7, it's going to be a 12, 9, 119.2. 1, 1, but we need to label this thing. And it's going to be north. dr lat is north. We're going to label it north. And then what happens is, when the LHA of the sun is over 180, you're east. LHA greater than 180, you're going to be east. If it's less than 180, you're going to be west. Cool. So ZN, it's going to want ZN, and we need to figure out ZN. So if we lay this out, And we say this is north, south, east, and west. So from north, we're 119 degrees. We're down here, right? So this is going to be the Z, and it's from the north. So Z is just going to be equal to ZN in this case. And these rules, you can find these rules within the site reduction tables. I just like to map it out and then I can figure out how far it is from north.
So z is equal to zn. So this is going to be 119.2 degrees. <clears throat> now we need to find the deviation, right? So we need to correct the compass. We're finally there. T, V, M, D, C. You can remember true virgins make dog company. Going down, add whiskey or add west. So true. We just figured out the true. 119.2 degrees. Variation is given. Three degrees west. Three degrees west. So we can calculate magnetic. We go add west. 119.2. 119.2 plus 3 equals 122.2. 122.2. And now compass, we were given compass in the problem. Here, the sun bearing, 119 PSC, 119.0 PSC. So to get from 122.2 down to 119, we need to subtract. And we know that that means it's east. So 122.2. 122.2 minus 119 equals 3.2 east. 3.2 east. And this finally is the answer that we're looking for. 3.2 east. So let's come up here and look at that. We did it. You can actually do these problems. 3.2 east is the answer to determination of compass error by azimuth of the sun. Practice problem one.